This is Liquid Highway Car Wash in South Carolina, owned and operated by Sean Griffin. And Sean was not in the car wash business prior to this location. This was his first one. Sean was a customer, though, of many full-service car washes and had an, uh, an idea and an image of what he thought a car wash should work like. He chose the Flex model, and he's done a great job here. This is a, uh, a model uh, example of what a Flex Serve uh, should look like and how it should operate. It is on a small piece of property. There is some uh, two-directional traffic with some tight turning, turning radiuses, but they've done a very good job with uh, signage and the uh, flow of the property to make it work correctly. Sean has visited many car washes, like I said, had his idea of what it should look like. He wanted to capture both the express customer for the new business that was coming his way and also the full service and express detail business. So we designed the site with a full tunnel package that was able to clean and dry and arm roll and clean wheels and put waxes on the car. Uh, automatically so the express customers can get great service and uh, go in and, and then just leave at the end of the wash. He does have a couple of self-service vacuum cleaners at the back of the property that they can use if they like to do it themselves. He opted to go with the attendant to greet the customer because of the full serve and, uh, and flex portion. So they do greet the customer, they address needs in the vehicles, make some recommendations and then give them a ticket if they want the interior service. When they come out of the car wash, they basically bang a U-turn and come into an express uh, detail center. And that center is two doors uh, with two lanes that were designed as double deep and they've actually been able to put it, as many as six cars in there at a time. He did a great job with the layout of that building where he pre-plumbed the vacuum cleaners, glass cleaner, tire dressing, copper shampoo, express wax, to a bunch of manifolds on the ceiling in between each of the lanes so that the employees would have a short distance to walk to get the supplies. Very efficient, very ergonomic. Also on the floor in there, he went with the plastic floor uh, to keep the moisture down so it was a safe, non-slip surface that they were able to uh, work in and service their customers without any risk of injury or problems. The next thing he did, he, he wanted to have the customer have a place to go to do uh, some work or spend some time or relax or catch up on emails. So he built the waiting room and the Liquid Highway name refers to surfing and the ocean and he carried that right into his lobby. The floor in the lobby is a urethane covered dyed concrete that looks cobalt blue like you're looking in deep into the ocean. He gets a lot of comments on it. It's a little bit of maintenance to clean and keep clean, but they do a great job with it. Also in the lobby is uh, Wi-Fi, so you can hook up wireless with your own computer, or there are computers in an area where you can go on and check your email while you're waiting to have your car service. There's a little cafe where they bring sandwiches in pre-made from a local uh, restaurant, and they've got tables that carry on that surfer theme. It's a surfboard, it's a table, with uh, benches made out of wetsuit material that are uh, for upholstery. And you go into the, to the restrooms, he carried the theme throughout there. As well, there's uh, stenciled old Woody's cars that are hand stenciled with surf surfboards on top that uh, really completes the vision. Uh, and this is a prime example of when you sit down, take time to put your vision on paper, this is what it looks like when you're done. He did a great job in the planning process. Um, he did a great job in the design process. And now they're doing a great job in the operations of the car wash. They continue to grow the volume in, the, in, in their area. The customers, when you talk to them, have rave reviews. And Sean and his managers have stayed in touch with us and have been already incorporating some of the new uh, available upgrades to their equipment. They've already installed a poodle brush to get a better clean wheel. They've got the rocker brush on top of the poodle brush. They're running a top brush. Uh, they wanted a clean, dry, shiny car to work with. And by doing that, their time of service in their express area has been greatly reduced and they're doing a great job. Uh, great to have them as a customer and they're uh, right now, as a newcomer, a great asset to our industry. Um, basically, we wanted to capture more than just the full service market, so we looked around and settled in on the FlexServe model. Uh, the FlexServe model, we think, is was an ideal way to go because we're able to capture express exterior customers as well as do offline full service, so it's worked out real well for us.
We really didn't know if it would work. You know, just like any business, there's an element of risk and, and wishful thinking and hopefulness. And um, but we just just looking at, at uh, the overall concept. You know, the ability to capture just more than than the full service and with uh, express exteriors coming along, we just felt the combination of the two Great. was the way to go. Basically what we do, uh, car, cars come in right here and they're greeted by a CSA or customer service advisor. Uh, they wear the uh, wireless DRB um, PTTs, the personal touch terminals and the wireless printers and that allows them uh, an opportunity to meet and greet the customer and advise them on services that they're going to need or might want. Um, they work on commission as well as an hourly so there is an incentive to advise customers on services that their car might need. Um, we have a single lane coming in so once they ring them up um, they're given a ticket and then each individual CSA loads the car and gets it on the track, uh, lets them know to put the car in neutral, put off the brake, hands off the wheel. Also lets them know what lane to go in after the wash is completed if they're getting an interior service. I have to say that um, these boards, even though this is not the greatest artwork today, we do have some pretty good artists on staff. But uh, it's amazing once we put up a special, and even if it's not discounted, um, the sales will go up. People see it, they see the, you know, the word special, they think it's a special. We don't even have to discount it sometimes. Uh, we like to uh, push the express polishes quite a bit because uh, um, it's, it's a real good price point. It's a lot of wow factor for the customer on the exterior of the car. Um, men, I think, are more inclined to buy that because it seems like they are maybe a little more concerned about the outside of the car. Women uh, really enjoy our interior super clean, which is kind of like our mini detail for the inside. One thing that we do while people are in line, you know, we live in a fairly warm climate. We, uh, we offer smoothies and also something new called liquid ice, and it's just something on the fly that the customer can pick up. We're always looking for new profit centers. And uh, this is something that you, you, you might be surprised will generate, uh, I don't know, maybe sometimes an extra dollar a car uh, with drinks and smoothies, which really helps out at the end of the day. So uh, uh, it's very easy because uh, the customer is forced through here and they see it and it's very convenient for them. So it's almost like a drive through uh, Sonic or, or um, what do you call it, Starbucks at times. We, we, um, we use mirrors up here. The customer has an opportunity to see their car coming on to the correlator. Uh, with a mirror, but we also uh, have the human touch involved, and uh, the girls are just there to really, uh, almost like directing a plane onto an aircraft carrier, um, get them on the track correctly without any damage. Uh, they also are using this opportunity to assess the car, make sure there's not any prior damage, um, get any antennas down, and see in this case she's uh, taping the rear wiper just as a precaution, um, and uh, get them on their way. We're um, designed to really limit uh, the amount of prepping we do here. We like to really do no prepping. Um, we do have some hoses, some pigtail hoses out here. Um, we have one that does a bug prep, which in the summer months can be very important. We try to get about uh, 30 seconds to uh, maybe a minute dwell time of, uh, of the, uh, the bug prep on there before the car actually hits uh, the first uh, um, CTA. Um, we also have on the side, we have a wheel prep for really bad baked on wheels. It's the same thing that's uh, put on the wheel three times in the tunnel, but by just offering a little more dwell time to it, we're able to get a little bit better wheel cleaning. I think the ability for the customer to stay in the car if they're in a hurry and uh, not have to get out and uh, you know rearrange your car and that kind of thing, they, they really love it. So our, our express exterior business continues to grow and grow. Yeah, once the customer exits the uh, car wash, they have an opportunity to uh, either leave, uh, go back in their own car, or get in line here for one of our express uh, services. On um, the right-hand lane, or lane one, um, is designed for customers more in a hurry. And it's designed to get the customer out of here in seven to 10 minutes after the wash is completed. So on the right-hand side, what they're getting is a vacuum, windows, door jams, dash wipe down, cup holders, console, and a wipe down of the, the uh, outside of the car. And we also offer an express wax on that side as well. And that adds probably about another three to four minutes on top of that express wax uh, with blue coral, uh, including Rain-X and tire shine. And on the left-hand side, lane two is designed for more of our express detail services. And each one of these takes about 25 minutes. It includes uh, carpet, leather, uh, interior super clean, which is a more in-depth interior cleaning, and an express polish. And those are designed to take about 25 minutes all together. If you got all four of those, that's considered a basic detail. Uh, the reason we set it up like this and offered a, a, a covering is that we felt, uh, number one, uh, it was a lot more efficient with our, our equipment. We wanted to provide some shade for our, um, our employees. Also, believe it or not, we do a fair amount of business on rainy days. We, we were stunned in the beginning 
that we would be doing 70, 80, 90 cars on a rainy day. And most of them are coming in and just getting the interior services. So that's been really nice. So other car washes are closed, we're open. Uh, inside we have four bays. In retrospect, we maybe should have done six bays. But um, we have uh, a central vac system with uh, 10 drops with a vacuum. Um, we also have uh, compressed air. We need to blow out dust out of a car. We have um, a two, we have a window cleaner that drops down out of one of the uh, four. We have 10 stations as well. Actually, we have six stations, I apologize. We have six stations and so six chemical dispensing areas for four bays. Um, one for each side. Uh, one in the middle, which will get the other side of the car, and then one on the far side. Uh, so we put window cleaner and a, a product called Dissolve All, which is a good general purpose cleaner. We also have a spray wax, and we also have a tire shine. So we're looking at dispensing um, four chemicals as well as having the vacuum and the compressed air. So we actually have six um, drops at each station. For our um, customers who are just getting the, uh, the exterior wash only, we offer the Simonized uh, tire shine on, on our top package. Uh, we've decided to just do the hand applied in here. For the customers who are coming inside, we do a hand applied in here. I think one of the beauties of the FlexServe uh, model is we're able to keep our labor very well centralized. We have uh, the CSAs out front, which are very close to this uh, general processing area, but the majority of our labor is right here, so it's much easier to manage. And uh, that's worked out very well for us. Uh, when they come in, uh, the teams are divided into uh, teams of two, and they split the car. I have one on the driver's side, one on the passenger side. They start by wiping down the car, then they do the windows, then they proceed to um, do the dash, console, cup holders, in, and they stay vacuuming for later. Every, everybody goes through a training process and a certification process here, and it really pays dividends, especially on busier days. And it's nice if you know, um, you can tell by what they're doing on the car exactly where they are. And so if somebody has to go on a break or something like that, you can, you can jump in. And, and then also you, when calling a customer, you know about how much long it's going to take. We also um, have checkers as well. We have, uh, uh, like I mentioned, everything is divided into groups of two, but we have uh, managers on the floor and also checkers who are uh, there for quality control purposes. Yes, yeah, so we have two separators in the back and we have, like I said, 10 drops and um, so everything is spread out. We, we try to bring it down one on each side of the car and then offer one on the back of for um, you know, large, larger cars, trunks, SUVs. And um, we, we consulted Sunny's on the best layout for this and they recommended we do a 10 drop, which has worked out well for us. We had a, a broom finished concrete and um, we decided to put a little bit of an epoxy on it, try to delineate areas and, and the, the thing is, cars come in here a little bit wet sometimes. You know, e even though they they come out largely very clean and dry, sometimes you know pickup trucks, mirrors, they continue to drip a little bit. So the constant dripping was making the floor a little bit slick, making the uh, uh, from the customer walk back to their car, they would have to kind of walk through some water, kind of muddy water. So this floor is, is uh, actually from Chuck and Dave. And it's a modular floor that we put in, and all the all the water drips down through. And so when the customer walks out, they're not getting their their feet wet or dirty again. In Charleston here, we're in a kind of a subtropic environment, and uh, certainly in the summertime it gets very hot. And uh, the ability to help cool our employees a little bit more makes them a little happier, a little more efficient, less fatigued. Uh, these are all things that I think are valuable, you know, toward the bottom line. We we constantly have people applying every week here from other car washes, um, especially around this time of year, you know, because uh, they're out in the sun. And, uh, and, and I think that uh, the ability to, to, you know, work in an environment that is just not gonna fatigue you in, in a couple hours, a lot of people are looking for that. So I, I think these little extra things, even though you may not see them on the bottom line right away, long term they really do pay off. Our experience has been with marketing. Um, we wanted to get our act together before we really, really started pushing the marketing. And I just feel now, after uh, almost two years, we are now just getting where we're hitting on all cylinders and can really handle more volume. Um, we've done extremely well with word of mouth. By doing a good job over and over, you know, people telling their friends, relatives, whatever, we get a lot of people showing up and they know exactly what they want because they've, they've been told by their friend what to get. And uh, 
that, that's been very successful for us. Fortunately, we've not really had to do a lot of marketing to keep our traffic up, but now that we're hitting on more cylinders and are able to handle more volume, we're, doing, we're starting to do more and more. Uh, we started with coupons. Uh, I know most car washes uh, do coupons, and I have to say coupons are probably our, our, our biggest uh, uh, driver for new traffic. We uh, advertise in several of the local uh, coupon things. You know, we're, we're in Money Mailer. We're in uh, some of the Sabre magazines that offer, you know, dollar off coupons or a couple dollars off. Um, we've done some newspaper coupons, not that successful for us. We have done, we did one that was actually fairly successful where they do the little sticky note on the front of the paper. That did draw a lot of traffic. It was also expensive, but that did draw a lot of traffic. Uh, we're, we're starting to do uh, later this summer, you know, it, we're probably fairly similar to uh, car washes in Florida where in the summertime you get into that uh, June, July, August, September pattern where you have that 30, 40 percent chance of rain every day. And uh, so we offer the 24-hour rain check. Our VIP Surf Club members get a, a two-day rain check with a lot of people like, because it takes the, you know, the guesswork out of when to get a car wash. It takes the worry out of it. Well, it's gonna rain tomorrow, I'm not gonna get it. So the rain check is, is something that I, I would uh, say has been extremely uh, beneficial for us. But we're, we're, we're starting radio in July to let more and more people know about that. We are also doing something on the Weather Channel, you know, with the, uh, the bottom of the, uh, the screen, the Weather Channel crawl to let people know. And of course, you know, you get into the summer months, people are watching maybe the Weather Channel a little bit more than normal with hurricanes and that kind of thing. So we're excited about doing the, the, the TV and the, the radio soon. We wanted to create um, kind of a nice inviting place. Um, a, a lot of people drive up and they, we, we've actually heard this dozens of times that they think it's a welcome center. <laughs> and, and so that kind of, you know, made us feel real good about the, uh, you know, the building and the grounds that we've created an environment that was welcoming for them to come in. You know, I guess one of our, you know, one of the things I noticed about going to car washes before I ever got in the business was it was just kind of a lot of downtime. It was just kind of wasted time. And that was probably one reason I didn't get my car washed quite as much because I, I saw the time commitment and uh, other than maybe talking on the cell phone, it, it was a, a lot of wasted time, so I wanted to create an environment or a lobby that would allow people to uh, accomplish other things or you know multitask a little bit. So uh, when we were designing this lobby, um, we had some space limitations, but what we wanted to do was allow an opportunity for them to maybe pick up a sandwich, um, check their email. We have internet cubicles, we have Wi-Fi, um, you know, grab a drink, that kind of thing. And so that's actually been a, a real good. Um, I think a benefit of the whole car wash. A, a lot of people, when we were setting it up, advised us against uh, putting too much into the lobby. And I'm, I'm actually pretty glad I didn't listen to them because I think that the investment has paid off. Uh, you know, we, we sell automotive accessories and that kind of thing. Um, and as, as a profit center, you know, it, it may not be the most profitable thing that we do. Uh, definitely breaks even, but I think it adds. Um, a lot of, uh, I, I guess, uh, what's the word, value to coming in to get in your car wash that may not necessarily show up just in this profit center. Yeah, this this floor, you know, our name's Liquid Highway, and we wanted to kind of create a liquidy uh, kind of feeling. So this is just pure concrete with a, a real virgin urethane and some pigment in it. Kind of, we wanted to make it seem like almost looking down on a coral reef from the air, and um, it, it it's real pretty. It, it's I have to say, it's a little hard to keep clean. <laughs> but, um, you know, we get just get rave reviews. We probably get a couple phone calls a week, probably, you know, people wanting to know where we got the floor done. Just on um, the amount of labor and uh, product we bring in here and the product we turn over, we, we make a little bit of money. You know, it, it, it's not a lot of money, but we just look at it as a uh, uh, value added for the, the car wash customer who comes in here and they have a nice place to wait, you know, meet their friends. We actually notice a lot of people will set up meetings here and, you know, to talk about business or, or other things and get their car washed at the same time. Yeah, we have little uh, cubes or little uh, booze here and that's actually wetsuit material, you know, kind of reinforcing the surf theme. And uh, we had a, a custom uh, surfboard designer um, here in South Carolina design our, our tables, which are made out of, those are, those are real surfboards. And uh, this gives the customers a place to sit down and set up their laptop or grab, you know, a sandwich, that kind of thing. And then we have, you know, drinks over here, uh, gourmet coffee, snacks, auto accessories. We have a 300 gallon cylindrical aquarium. We have a lot of people that come in and just love the fact that they can kind of go to another world for a few minutes and escape into the aquarium. It just kind of relaxes them. And I think it also gets their mind off their car, you know, uh, about, uh, you know, the, looking at their watch, you know, about time. So uh, it's just another thing to kind of, you know, create a, a peaceful environment in here. Uh, well, we have uh, smoothies 
and uh, pretty much every kind of drink you can think of in here. Uh, we bring in gourmet sandwiches every day from a lo local uh, gourmet sandwich shop.